So ne next uh, um, talk is by uh, Leonel Mimendi, and uh, he will talk, uh, the topic is similar, uh, bamboo poles uh, for reciprocal frame structures. Thank you. Uh, okay. Right, can you see my screen? Yeah. Uh, not, not yet. Yeah. Yes, it's coming. All right, okay. thank Here you. Okay, so I will um, I will start first by congratulating Mauricio for his very good presentation on bamboo structure. And I mean, he has already um, he has already introduced uh, why bamboo is uh, is good as a structural material, and especially for um, uh, shells and spatial structures. So what I will do is that I will I will start um, uh, by, by introducing the work that we have been doing in uh, UCL. So <clears throat> by looking at the material, you can um, immediately see the challenges that, that, that bamboo is posing, um, is posing to, 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 to the general engineer. You know? So what we have done is that we have uh, developed a, a framework that actually aims to quantify opposed to uh, forcibly eliminate the variability that that natural material has. For example, we developed a 3D scanning methodology. Um, during this 3D scanning, the outer surface of the bamboo together with the, with the ends of the pole are scanned so that the, the resulting uh, model that we have is a very accurate and texturized 3D model. Um, and then this, this model can be used you know, to, to, to exploit the aesthetics of the material or also to do inspection, but more in the structural side of it. I think we can use it to extract the relevant geometric properties at any point, at any desired point along the bamboo. Then on the, on the physical and mechanical side of the, of the, the material, we have developed a, a testing methodology, which is based on small, clear bamboo samples. These, uh, these small bamboo samples are automatically um, uh, extracted using a robotic arm, as you can see in the, in the video. And the robotic arm is equipped with a 3D scanner and also with a milling machine. So once the samples are extracted, then we perform the test and we can get the mechanical properties for each of the bamboo. So at the end, what we get is a digital database, which is more similar to what, you know, the common database that you get for steel or aluminum, and that, you know, any engineer or architect would use during the, the, the design process. So once you have the digital database, you can, you know, the, the, the implementation increases significantly because you can do digital modeling, exploration, we can also use it for parametric design, uh, optimization, medical models, and then you can bring it into robotic fabrication, or you can even combine it with, uh, with augmented reality technology. Well, all that is, is you know, amazing when you see it in a computer screen, but obviously the, the, the biggest challenge was uh, for us to bring all that data back into to the reality. So here is where we started working with reciprocal frame structures. And the reason is because we can use short, pole, short poles sorry, to span long distances. And also, if you can see, every single connection to bamboo is only limited to two poles uh, per connection. So that reduces you know, the stresses and, 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 and increases the time. Um, we also develop a computational uh, you know, script that automatically uh, selects the best bamboo from our database and then put it in the structure. The reciprocal frames are good so that they can be adapted to any shape. So our first project was essentially a dome. Now this dome, uh, the, the, the purpose of building this was essentially to get the geometry right. And uh, we, we developed an assembly process. And once uh, everything was built, we use a laser measurement device to take kind of a pulling cloud of the acid structure. And 
and then so we, could, we could compare it. And we found that um, the, the, the average between the, the, the tolerance or the accuracy between the, the model, the design model, and the prototype was around 20 millimeters. Now, 20 millimeters. Excuse me, Leonel, one more minute. Right, thank you. 20 millimeters is, is similar to what we we'll see in timber, um, but the most important part is that we can actually measure it. You know, when you have such a material uh, like bamboo, which is organic and variable and everything, it's very important that you can actually measure it. So I will go quickly to show you the next project that we have done. This is a footbridge uh, with the shape of a hexagon, and we also adapted the, the, the reciprocal frame structures. We use here some uh, augmented reality to, during the assembly procedure. We did this project with Rumble, which was done completely on site, and we also did the as uh, reconstruction and post uh, construction analysis, structural analysis. And then finally, our latest project was uh, this one that was built in China. So we essentially changed the project of Rumble and we converted it into our product frame structure. Um, you can see some tests here, and uh, we also use photogrammetry kind of automatic. Photogrammetry system to acquire the final acid uh, structures. So finally, I would say that um, our project is, is just aiming to, to develop uh, low energy and sustainable and very high quality uh, reciprocal frame structures. We're open for collaboration, and uh, and we think that you know the, the, the digital age is you know perfect for for bamboo structures now to be developed onto the next level. These are the references, and uh, yeah. thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Leonel. Uh, I don't see. I didn't see any question in the chat. Uh, you can uh, talk now if you like. Otherwise, I have one comment uh, or curiosity. Uh, I think I, I think I'm done. I I, I showed uh, essentially yeah everything. Yeah. Yes. Uh, are there any questions? Uh, let me first, uh, uh, I have a curiosity because both of you, uh, please. Okay, my curiosity, which I can ask also to Mauricio, is somebody. There is something, there is someone, yeah. Okay. Please go ahead. Otherwise, it can be written in the chat, and, and, and you can. Continue. Yes, no, there is uh, just quickly because yeah, it's a good chance you are both here and you are the experts. Uh, is uh, laminated bamboo a sustainable material? I because would say that uh, it is. Um, of course, obviously, the, 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 the round bamboo pole, as, as, as you have it here, you know, it's, yeah. it's obviously the best option because it's essentially just taking from the nature. This is what nature is giving us, essentially for free. And our, 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 our aim is just to use it or make the most out of it, you know, so less process uh, possible. So engineered bamboo food is, is uh, very similar to laminated uh, timber. And I think it's, it's also good. It's just that, you know, it's very good to first explore the maximum, you know, extract the maximum uh, capacity that we can from the material as it, is, you know, as, as it comes into this world. And obviously, engineer Bambu also has uh, many possibilities. Can I just add some? some yes. Little thing? Of course. <clears throat> yeah, laminated bamboo, is, I agree with Leonel, is like um, similar to, to wood, but the, the problem is that the laminated bamboo requires much more glue than, than wood. So actually, I, see. Uh, I am as a bamboo. I'm a bamboo lover. Today, I would prefer laminated wood to laminated bamboo. Uh, today, uh, if the glue in the laminated bamboo uh, will become more sustainable, uh, etc., then probably I, I, I will I will try laminated bamboo. I have I haven't done. I, I have refused some designs with the laminated bamboo because of that. Because I think it's not coherent to transform a very sustainable material, which is which is uh, approved officially by the United Nations as a natural-based material for climate control, climate change, and uh, transform it into a non-sustainable material. Yes. Um, right? 
and it's even heavier. It's heavier due, due to the amount of glue, it's heavier than laminated wood. So I, I did a house last two years ago and I used laminated wood because it was more or less. Uh, better, still better, more sustainable and lighter. So, uh, so thank you very much for but, this insight. Probably in the future it will become better. We hope, we hope yes. it will. No, yeah. I'm very interested myself in this material. It's, it, looks, it looks good, but let's hope it will improve. Okay, thank you very much uh, thank you. to Leonel and Mar